I'm with Dean Callaway talking about the Hawaiian way. Now Dean, a lot of people talk about the power of now and living in the now, but I'm interested to hear what the seven principles say about Manawa, the moment of power. Yes, aloha Jane. Uh, the Hawaiian look and take on this is now is the moment of power. So it's, it's pronounced Manawa and we say, they say in a way that now is the moment of power because a lot of people tend to focus on the past and they're focusing on the future. And what they're actually doing whilst they're doing that is they're not allowing themselves to be in the moment. And the now is the only real moment in time. It's the now is when we do things that will allow us to have our future. So if you've got the dirty room that you want to clean out at home and it's a big job and you don't expect, you don't want to clean it all out at once, but if you choose to get up in the now and in the moment and just move and shape and shift a few of those boxes around, you're doing something in the now to allow tomorrow to be what you want it to be and that's to see that room completely cleaned out. So that is one way of seeing, of living in the now. Because the now is the only real moment in time. As I said before, a lot of people are spending a lot of their thoughts thinking about the future or thinking about the past. Hardly anyone spending the moment in time in this moment in time. And this is the most powerful moment in time because it's what we think and what we do here and now, today, which is what we'll create tomorrow. And if we choose to sit around all day and think about cleaning up that room and we actually don't do it, then tomorrow it's going to be the same. So we use the now as the moment of power to bring ourselves into the now and to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve in your life. A personal uh, situation with me, for example, again with what I do with my job and my work, uh, one of the jobs I had to do a little while ago was I had to get up on a roof on a very hot day and I couldn't get out, I had, had to do it on this particular day, I was very busy. And it was a very big roof and I had to clean this roof down, I had to pressure clean it down every tile at a time, one by one. I had to get this roof spotless. And I got up there early in the morning and it was very hot and I looked at the size of the roof and I thought, this roof, it's huge, it's going to take me forever. And with that, I changed my, my EK, my awareness of what it was that I was looking at and the job that I had to do and I turned that around and I brought myself into the now. So for that short time I did focus on how big the job was and how long it was going to take, that's only natural. But then I brought myself through having learning the seven principles of Huna, and I brought myself into the now, and I focused on, concentrated on cleaning this roof just one tile at a time, and then one section at a time, and then one quarter of the roof at a time. And before I knew it, by placing myself really in the moment in time, I looked back and realized that I'd cleaned over half the roof already, and it really didn't take that long. Because in the moment of time, there really is no time. And when you're truly focusing on the job at hand, time just seems to disappear and the job seems to become a whole lot easier than what it initially turned out to be. So this is one good example of living in the now and being in the moment in time. It truly is the most powerful moment in time. So if there's anything that you want to do or you want to achieve, now is the moment to put that foot forward and to achieve that goal. And you don't have to achieve that goal overnight in the big way. It just means you have to do one small thing in order to make tomorrow happen.